morning. Good morning, my lovely princess. Even with my glasses? I was talking to Scott. I'm sorry. Ah. Thank you. I do like your, <laughs> I do like your glasses, though, man, now that I'm used to them. Yeah, it took a little while, didn't it? First day, you were like, you, you look like you were in the eighth grade. I, I know. Was like, it does make me look a little young. My eyes look a little bigger. Well, speaking of making your eyes bigger, you know what does that for me? Coffee. Oh, Wakes yeah. Wakes me up in the morning. Gotta have it. But now, Uh-oh. for those people... Yeah. That making a cup of coffee is too hard. For whom drinking a <laughs> cup of coffee is too hard. Oh, there's too much We involved. present to you Grinds Coffee Pouches. I got one in right now. Yeah, me too. And joining us on the phone you from, got yours in speak too? Yeah. from Grinds yeah. is Patrick. Patrick, good morning. Good morning, guys. How you doing? Good, man. How good. are you doing? Yeah. Doing well. Patrick, doing well. Patrick I, got a, I got a patch of one of your pouches in my mouth right now. It's got a mocha. Good to hear. It's good a to mocha. hear. Now, Patrick, um, are you the inventor? Are you the sales guy? Are you the owner? What's going on with you? What's your deal? I, what, uh, I, I guess you could call me a little bit of both. Okay. Uh, all of the above. We, uh, we came up with this product when my business partner and former college roommate, uh, Matt Canepa, you know, we were done. We were playing college baseball, and he played a couple years for the Cubs. And uh, pretty Ooh. much when we couldn't hack it anymore, we uh, started throwing coffee in our mouths and didn't want to get a normal nine to five job, and then uh, kind of took this thing down to, to spring training and, and figured out if there was a market. And sure enough, here we are, a couple years later. <laughs> so I'm sorry, you did your research market on baseball players at spring training? Yeah, yeah, we uh, we played college baseball, and like I, as I mentioned in yeah. California, and uh, you know we want to stick around the game. Funny enough, we didn't chew tobacco or anything like that, but uh, you know we were up late, kind of you know. <laughs> We don't really like to say it like this, but we're basically two idiots up doing a college project yeah. back in 2009, and it was two in the morning, and you know we didn't have a coffee maker. We had coffee and need some caffeine, and threw it in, and you know coffee was all in our teeth, sticking around, and we were oh. smiling like like two idiots. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it led to uh, uh, an actual business. So. so explain exactly what grinds are. So grinds is it's basically ground up coffee put into like a, a small pouch, you know, a third the size of like a, a bag of tea, whoa, whoa, whoa. and it's basically got caffeine, B vitamins, guarana, everything you find in you know Five Hour Energy or uh, you know a Red Bull, and uh, it was designed specifically for Major League Baseball, and uh, you know it kind of caught on there, and we got some good exposure in ESPN the magazine, Entrepreneur magazine, and and now people are buying it uh, all over the world. So um, and now. And I don't mean to get personal, but I mean, is this product supporting you and your partner financially? Yeah, you this rich? is all you're, you're doing. Rich? Are you it, rich? You know what? We, it, it's been. We're not rich yet, but uh, if we make it to January one of, of next year, it, it's time to start taking a little, a little small, you know, humble salary, and uh, hopefully get uh, an upgrade to an office because we we work a lot from home. And good for, for you, while, man. We had the product in our bedroom, and uh, and now That's we're true. hopefully on the. On Right track to moving on up. So. Uh, yeah, Spiegel is drinking coffee while having a grind yeah, in. Is, is that, that safe? Can I keep your pouches in my mouth and drink coffee at the same time? Yes, you may keep your pouches. Keep oh your pouches wow! In your mouth, but uh, uh, we don't recommend swallowing the pouch itself. How long does it take there. to get uh, a caffeine buzz with uh, one of your pouches? You know, it, it's actually we just say it's it's basically like brewing coffee in your mouth. I mean, it, as soon as you kind of <laughs> it's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> not, Trying to stay PC, but as soon as you kind of swallow the uh, the uh, the caffeine and coffee, I mean, you're going to get that hit pretty quick. Oh, so. yeah. Hey, Patrick, um, could I take your pouch and drop it in some water and make coffee? Yeah, what would happen? You know, we've tried that, and and the one that kind of really gives it a little kick is the the cinnamon roll. Oh, I got cinnamon roll right here. Flavor. Oh, wow! Uh, uh, kind of gives it a little cl- little kick. You'll need to use probably five or six pouches to really get some flavor. Otherwise, it's not going to. Not going to taste too great. <laughs> gotcha. And now, <laughs> Mill, you want a cinnamon roll? Obviously, million? people are going to. I'm sure people ask you all the time: Is it FDA approved or whatever? Uh, and anything that's you release is FDA approved, right? Or yeah, but basically, we had you know when we started, we didn't really know too much about the FDA. I mean, our expertise was more or less baseball and yeah. a little bit of business and. Uh, you know, we, we launched a product and just figured, you know, we'll get a call from somebody. You know, we were just testing. We weren't selling it back then. And, uh, you know, sure enough, we got a call from the FDA, and, you know, they gave us a scare at first, but they just gave us all the feedback. And essentially, you know, we're basically using coffee, which is a food product, but, you know, the supplements make it kind of like a fiber energy or a red bull. Sure. Where as long as you've got, you know, an agreed-upon amount and people know what they're putting in their bodies ingredient-wise, 
um, you're okay. And, and the main concern they had was over labeling, just being clear about kind of how to use it and the ingredients. And we're making some changes to uh, on our next production run and so hopefully I- launching in retail. And, and so uh, there'll be a couple <clears throat> changes being made, but not to the product to it itself, just on our website and, and maybe on the label. So I shouldn't worry about the FDA for my heroin pouches that I'm developing oh. right now. Yeah. You know, I you know I can't comment on that. But Fair I, enough. I, I'll well, give it a shot. And maybe we'll give you a call. Yeah, coffee does stain the teeth, and if you're putting it right there at your gum and tooth line, it's is it going to stain my teeth pretty bad? Yeah, that's the only concern that that customers really have. That's uh, that's more of a valid one, and, and it's basically what we say is you know it's just like drinking coffee, so you do get the staining from it, but. You know, if it's down below, um, you know, in your lip, and it's not in the front teeth where normally you drink coffee, you know, those aren't the teeth people are going to be seeing. Um, anyway. Yeah, I got it down on the side right now. <laughs> got yeah. it down on the right side. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like right it. I, I give it a like shot. It. Yeah, at first I didn't know how to use it, so I was nibbling on your pouch. You got to be but careful there. But what would happen if I accidentally <laughs> swallowed your pouch? Yeah, what happens? You know, technically, you know, you'd be okay. Uh-huh. You know, we, we try to monitor. We don't recommend it by any means, but... Um, everything inside is food grade. It's basically uh, it's called parchment paper. It's yeah, kind of like tea it paper. It'd yeah. be no different than uh, you know <laughs> chewing on a, a piece of paper. Right. Where does this? Where do you uh, <laughs> put it? Like in stores? Like where is it? Uh, yeah. So, is it near like the co- coffee stuff? I mean, where do you where do you put it? <laughs> so we're testing it kind of all over. That's yeah. the name of the game right now. And, and so far, we it's been successful. You know, behind the counter, next to the next to some of the tobacco products, just because the size of the can kind of fits there, but. We're testing new stuff now. Where, <clears throat> excuse me, we um, we're gonna put it in racks. <clears throat> no, don't choke on, on your grinds. Of, yeah, yeah. you got a pouch stuck in your throat. What the hell's yeah, going exactly, on with you, Patrick? Exactly. You know, I'm up early. I got four or five pouches in now, trying to trying to, <laughs> trying to get going. Here. Yeah. <laughs> What uh, what's the uh, maximum number of pouches one can uh, uh, keep in their mouth at a time? You know, we don't recommend more than four or five. That's oh, four, oh, jeez, <laughs> <Yeah>. Jesus. <laughs> That's a yeah, that's a little over a cup of coffee, and with the B vitamins and stuff, it'll give you a pretty good kick. Yeah. But uh, you know, we normally recommend one or two, and we have some guys who you know play uh, you know major or minor league baseball, and you know they will throw in a, a couple more than that just to kind of get amped up before a game or before they come into pitch. So hmm. that's kind of what we recommend. Now, my uh, look, I'm not a coffee snob. I will not walk into a Starbucks and pay seven dollars for something <laughs> I can get for eighty cents. Right. But is it good quality beans that you're using for this coffee? Yeah, you know, we, we experimented with the really nice stuff, the really cheap stuff, and then the middle-of-the-road stuff. And what we kind of found was that, you know, you're not really roasting the coffee too much. Right. So you really just want that flavor. And we just tried to make sure that what we put in there was, you know, at least middle-of-the-road and actually one step above. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's, not, it's not the best stuff. It's not the worst stuff. And, uh, you know, the bottom line was most people – couldn't tell either way, so we tried to make it something that was pretty decent. All right, well, Patrick, I tell you, it's been a real uh, treat talking yeah, to you. I hope yeah. you become a millionaire. The man. American dream is alive yeah. and well, my yeah. friend. What's the yeah, way? yeah? Keep an eye out. I don't know if you guys watch Shark Tank, but we're going down to a, a casting call in, in L.A. So hell maybe yeah, you'll see us, maybe I, you'll see us sooner dude, or later. So. I tell everyone to go on Shark Tank. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. You think the you think the millionaires will pick up on this? What do you think? Uh, you yes. No, I mean, yeah. It's, it's kind you, of one of those ideas that you hear and you go, well, that's, you know, that's not too bad. You and can, how you doing it? When we tell them Major League Baseball, they, they kind of perk up a little bit. So, you know, we think we got a shot. But I'm going to make a pre- – yeah. what's your pitch? How much are you asking for? You know, we haven't, we haven't found that actual figure, but Here's, it's probably you, something, you know, but, you know, 150, maybe no. 200K. Patrick, listen to me. This is exactly what you want. I've watched that show religiously. Yeah. Because they judge you on how much you ask for, saying that how much you think your product's worth. So listen to me. This is exactly what you want to tell them. We want 750000 and we'll give up 30% of the company. Those are the magic numbers. I'm putting in, I'm taking notes right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, brother. <laughs> well, and when other... you get it, when you get it, you got to put 1% aside for the little dude in Baltimore that told you. <laughs> Well, and I also uh, the uh, the major coffee manufacturers too might be interested. And I think yeah. about all the coffee outlets. You know, Starbucks sells everything out in front of that register. I could see little little pouches of Starbucks coffee. That would be awesome. Yeah, but they're going to yeah, charge eighty seven dollars. Yeah, you, you never know. Yeah, well, Patrick, pay. what's the website? Uh, it's getgrinds.com. Awesome. Thanks, Patrick. Yeah, thank you. All right, take it easy, brother. Good luck.